is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. So, um, in the last video, I presented to you uh, this beautiful, I say beautiful because I really love my work, I'm not kidding, this beautiful altered book journal. I started it, I looked at the date on my videos, I started it in August of 2021. Um, we are now March of 2023. Now, to be fair, I didn't work on it the whole year, clearly. <laughs> Once in a while, I would take it and make a video and a page with it, right? Um, that being said, I have gotten a lot of beautiful comments. Thank you very much. Even if the video was atrocious, because at 9 minutes, 28 seconds, uh, the song that started there was at regular volume. I usually lower the volume so you can still hear me. And so for a whole three minutes, it's super loud before it comes back to regular. But by then, I'm sure most of you just left. And I really apologize about that. <laughs> ah, technology. Um, speaking of technology, if right now you see a second angle to this video, is because I have succeeded to put a screen on top of this screen like maybe in the corner here or there I don't know where I'm gonna to decide to put it um, I'm testing things so bear with me I want to know if maybe it is useful for certain people to see a different angle it, it you know changing it up and I'm learning you know I'm editing my own videos clearly and sometimes it's a, still a little difficult for me so I'm trying to see so if you don't see an image in image it's because did not succeed that's the sound of you know failure <laughs> now I need sound effects see where I'm going with this <laughs> but if you do see image and images because I, I did manage to put it in the editing but if not well it will be the same angle as usual which is this one okay so that being said I showed this journal and I've had a lot of nice comments and people want to purchase it right Judy <laughs> she's gonna think why is she calling me right out in the video <laughs> anyways there are um, there is a big possibility that I will sell it I think I've made peace with that because what do you how do you think we get um, how do you say inspired to make journals well if I keep it, I'm going to keep looking at it and touching it and remembering, you know, what I've done. And it all it's all good to do that. There's nothing wrong with keeping a few uh, journals for yourself. But I do have my um, art. Well, I have two art journals. One is this, this one. I make short videos with this one. It's like for some reason I decided that the length... And the width of this journal was perfect to make uh, YouTube shorts. So, so far, everything I've done in here has been in a YouTube short. So, I think I will keep it this way. And my name is on it, uh, although I could easily change that. But this one, I think I will keep. That again, who knows? Um, and I have the bigger one. Uh, the one where I really make big uh, page spreads. Actually, I have three. Yes, because I did start a new one. So, I think I'm good on art journaling. This one is an altered book journal. So... I think I've decided to sell it, which means the best way to get over the sale of a beloved journal is to start another one. Um, I've also created this one, the squishy, I, could, I should just call it the squishy journal because it is squishy, but this one is about, you know, flowers and such. And I have this one on the go, which is pretty much all done. I, I just have a few elements here that I want to put in it um, just to finish decorating the pages. So I think I will have three journals to sell very soon. So I will put these aside here because I don't need, but I do need some space. Okay, here we go. I will show you right from the beginning how to create an altered um, book journal. So I chose this old book that I had since I was by the signature I used to, <laughs> to, you know, the way I used to sign, I'm guessing very, very, very early. I was still in school, that's for sure. So this is old, people. It is old. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I decided to use it because it, it is a hardcover and it's, uh, it's fun because it's French. So we'll 
you know, if I do leave, although most of the time, not to, like, to be honest, I do cover pretty much the whole pages, but, you know, we'll see if there's some writing that you can see through, it'll be nice because it's all French. So here, here is how you do it. So let me take a sip of my cola. I should have water because anyways. So how you go about it is we will tear a lot of pages. Now this is awesome because we can create a lot of things with these pages afterwards. I will talk about that later. And right, now I really just want to show you how to do this. You take your hardcover. I am deciding that this will be like the, I'll, I'll do it in our journal page, if you will. This will be the beginning of this new journal. Then what you do is I will take this clip off. Now these pages, okay, I, I know there's a lot of side notes here, but it, it's necessary. These pages are rather thin, okay? Like they're a little thicker than a regular dictionary, I would say, but not that much. They're, they feel thinner than photocopy or unless it's the texture. A uh, tiny bit, I don't know. That being said, I don't feel super comfortable just working on this. So this one will be a little more complicated to deal with than the other one that I just showed you that I finished uh, because the pages were a lot thicker. So be mindful of that. When you decide to take um, a, journey, um, a book to transform, try and see if you mind the fact that the pages are thin because it will give you a tiny bit more work, which is why I have my glue stick here, okay? And I'll show you why. But if, if they're thicker, you'll save yourself the gluing of pages together, okay? But aside from that, that's really the only downfall of the fact that this paper is thinner, okay? So what I've done is this I leave because I will decorate. This I already glued and I will show you, don't worry, I already glued these two together because this one was of course too thin and I've decided that um, I didn't rip any pages here yet okay that's fine so I glued these together and then the next one I folded inwards because I decided that this will be a pocket this way okay so because I don't want to forget get yourself a lot of paper clips and put it like this so you don't tear anything and you know this has to stay and I decided to make the same thing on the other side I like the the two pocket things I think that's how I started my other journal or I know I made this in the other one so the same deal here I folded inwards this because it's so thin before I put it together and say okay this I keep for later I did glue two pages together so this is much thicker and I'm more confident about working on it I could actually probably glue three pages but I feel like this is enough especially if you're going to prepare your paper with um, gesso you'll be fine so I will put a clip here and now this journal will start this way with an art journal our art journaling page and then I will have a page that has two side or diagonal pockets okay now we move so I already glued two pages here because again they're too thin so this is glued together and I'm deciding right now because like I know this seems very unclear and I apologize for that but it is unclear at first when you start okay so I have these two and I glued these two pages if you have thicker pages you won't have to go through the trouble of figuring out what you glue okay so this is the back so what am I going to do with this okay this is the back I can decide to make another page of art journaling I'm deciding that I would like to have a pocket of some sort but this are no hold on I decided that this would be some sort of art journaling I remember because I already glued this so another page of art journaling now I say art journaling I could eventually put a, a glue a pocket here right later but for you know what I mean so when I say art journaling just I just mean that it's not a pocket that will come from this book by folding something okay 
So I will leave it this way and I glued two pages together. We move on. Here, I would like to have a pocket that goes something like that and have it right here. Okay, so I will tear set. I will tear seven pages. I think that's a nice number. Wow, these tear very easily. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness, the things we will make with these. Ah! I tore pages. Now, if you rip the pages and there's leftover paper, this, this so far is tearing marvelously. But if it's, you know, and you have some left, it does not matter. Because, remember, I decided to make a pocket that will go this way. And now, if you had ripped paper here, this is the pocket. The rip paper would be in between. And that's why you use, like when you rip paper, once you put this as a pocket, that, that's it. There's no more ripping. Okay? So I hope, I hope I am clear. It's, I think it's the gluing of pages that might confuse you. So unfortunately, I still have to glue them because they're too thin. If you have a thicker page, you don't have to. So I will put clips here to remind myself that this is a pocket like so and the reason I'm not just gluing them right away is because I might decorate with paper that I have to glue also a tiny bit on the inside and then if I already glue this as a pocket I won't have as much you know ease to to go ahead and do that so that's why I personally do that same thing with these pockets what if I want to put paper and wrap it around the edge here instead of having the paper that will come up? That's why I didn't glue anything just yet to allow me to, you know, if I put a beautiful decorative paper, I wrap it around, glue it, then I will glue this at the bottom here and there. Now I'm done. But for now, I, I'm, not glue, I'm not going to glue it just yet. Okay. So we have this one. I would like to have the same on this side, I think. Let me think. Is that what I want? Mm, no. I'm going to... Oops. Wow. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Are we good? Are we good? Okay. Um, no. I think I will glue these pages together. So I will have a pocket here and none there. Because who knows? Maybe I will stick something here that flips out. Right? So I'm leaving myself some options. Now, for those of you who have never done such a, a book, an altered book journal, the reason why we are ripping pages is because, can you imagine, first of all, the amount of work it would take to fill out, I don't know, 300 pages? It would be not so, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. So... And it would be too thick. I mean, this one, I ripped like more than half of it. And look how thick it is. And it's and I, I'm tying it right now. But it, it pretty much doubles the width of the spine at the beginning, um, you know, once you're done. So, no, we really can't leave all the pages. It would be really too thick. So, I'll have a pocket here. This will be whatever. This will be whatever again. Um, how about... I think I'll make another pocket like this on this one. So kind of a replica of this one. I will do it right here. Like so. So that means that I have to rip the pages here. One, two, three, four, five... Okay. Ah, uh, see, I said it, they were ripping well for me, and now not so much. Okay, perfect. They did. Yes. Okay, so now we have this. Now remember, this is thin, so before I put my clips, I will make sure because I have thin pages that I glue them. So if you're like me, you might want to do that as well. like this 
Okay. You know what? I'm thinking I might leave. I don't know. I, I'm saying things here. I was going to say I might leave a lot of this paper showing through. I love it. And it's it's not yellow, but it's not super white. I don't know. It is probably, I don't know. Ooh, I, was, I want to say 30 years old. I'd have to check. And, uh, did I rip that page? <laughs> the one that says, you know, editing. <laughs> I'll have to look. Okay, so this is going well. Let's see. Mm, so this is the back. This is doubled. Um, yeah, I will glue these. Yeah, that's the only thing for me today is I have to glue. Whenever I say I have to glue these, you can just keep going on your own book if yours have has pages that are thick enough. Okay. So every time I leave pages, I will I will glue them. So I'm going to leave myself a few. Yeah, why not? Plus, these can become just you know regular journaling pages where I will just decorate and leave them as such pretty much without adding like a, a pocket I mean right or a tuck spot maybe or maybe a belly band you know just like I would do in the regular journal there so now since the pocket I've left myself this this did I just do this yes okay how about we start thinking of a pocket? What could we do? Hmm. hmm. Oh, I have an idea. I think. Let me think. Do I want to do that? Um. Hold on. I'm trying to figure something out. Huh. What if? Um. I'm trying to see other kinds of pockets, but at the same time, I don't want this book to just be pockets because that's a lot of work. You know what I mean? Um, I was wondering if, oh yeah, I did that in the other and it was really nice. Yes, okay, hold on. So this is doubled, so that's not a problem. And then, wait now. Which one has to be bigger? Okay. So what if I did... Okay. I'm going to rip pages here. You'll see what I'm doing. Do. Trois. Quatre. Cinq. Six. Seven. I don't know why I went with seven, but it seemed perfect. Okay. So we'll, we will have, I think, a pocket. No. I made a mistake already. Okay, this will be, yes. Okay, that's not the mistake. It's not that bad. You can fold it like this, okay, and then unfold it, and then fold it so that this touches your first fold. Like so. So this will be one. And two. See what I've, I've done here? So this will be a page that has one, two. That is nice. I like that. Okay. So I need two more. I'll try and clip them here. Like this. That is nice, right? Yes, it is. Perfect. Oh, so this is becoming very interesting. But, as you can see, this will take me a long time. So now I'm trying to decide, oh my goodness, look at this. Look, look at these. Now this is going to be so much fun. Oh, it's a shame I can't coffee dye them right now. Although, this is a video. Let me think here. Um, okay, let me keep going just a page or two while I... I think, or maybe I'll just pause the video and come back with my decision. <laughs> I just hope that you understand what I'm doing. 
it's, it seems very confusing when you explain it and you kind of actually have to do it. And I'm not going to lie, you know what I did before I pressed record? I watched one of my old videos to see how I did it. Because <laughs> I couldn't remember. <laughs> so it is confusing. But once you get to it, you get a, you, you know, you get a role and, and you start understanding. Oh, okay, it's not that hard, you know. So, yeah. I'm trying to see if just to make things interesting hold on what if I know what I'm going to do because worst case if it doesn't work I'll just rip it so I'm going to glue these two you'll see what I mean like so And I'm just trying to make things more interesting here. I will start ripping. Ah, I ripped too much. I was going to say halfway, I will, I will fold it. I, I, I wasn't sure where I was going with this, so bear with me here. I was thinking of making a half page just for fun or a pocket this way but now I feel like this didn't no I, I'm going to rip it and throw it because it's glued and it's fun because it, there's no real damage here so I don't even have to try and cover what I've done let's try this again in a better way this time hold on okay I'm trying to see something here. I feel like there's something I'm not... I don't know. I think... Okay, no. I'm going to rip this one as well. I shouldn't. I should have just used it. But here's my idea. I think the pocket was too thick. So I will rip this halfway. Now, of course, I'm going to have glue in, on my hands. And then I'm going to glue it. On its own. There's already glue on it, so that should that should work easily. Oops, don't want to be crooked here. It might not work. I'm trying things here with you. That's what we're here for. Okay, so do I make this a half page? Or do I glue it here and that become... I think I'll make a pocket this way. I don't know. I like the idea of just half a page. No, I'm leaving it like that. Half a page it is. Here you go. <laughs> All this for that. <laughs> I just like it. It's different. There. So, with all the pages we've done so far... As you can see, this is because it will be this way... I'm hoping you understand how to do this. You really just have to grab a book and, and, and try and do it. Because there's no other way really to, to learn this. And there's not much I can show you other than different ways of folding, you know, pages for you to have different kinds of pockets. And of course, leave yourself some pages that are not going to be pockets. Um, and yeah, if, you're, if your pages are thicker, when I leave pages like I'm doing right now, I don't, I, I have to glue them because they're too thin. So I'm going to glue this too. Because I want this journal to have, like the other journal that I'm getting ready to sell, um, every page is busy. Every page meaning has pockets and tuck spots of all kinds. Um, which is nice. I love it. It's really altered, <laughs> to say the least. This one, I want it to be altered, but I also want it to have a lot of space to journal in. So I'm leaving this, this, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm going, why not more like this? If you hear a, 
I don't think we hear them on camera, but my my son has a friend over, and sometimes it's it gets loud because they're playing video games. It's like, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, woo! There you go. Okay, um, how about to, I'll do one last fold of some sort. Okay, so this is double. This stays there. Um, what kind of pocket would I like? Or something? Hmm. Oh, here's a very simple one I haven't done yet. Simple, simple. Um, first, I will glue these. Very simple, but we forget the simple things, right? So I will glue this. And I will glue these two. Uh, no, I will tear. Two, twelve, cat, cinq, six, set. Okay. Oops, I was gonna throw this away. Oh my goodness. How dare I? Okay. So these two are glued. Oops, are they though? Yes, okay. This is glued and oops, yeah. This is glued. And this will be a simple one. Now, it's not often that I glue them right away, but I will because this will be the pocket. Let me grab my where is it? Okay. I will make a big side pocket like that. There. And now I will glue them together because these, I won't need to cover anything um, on the inside, you know, with paper and such. So I will put those together right away. Oops. Oh, goodness. I'm telling you, me and adhesive, the, the, the struggle is real. Or I have it all over myself, my hair, table, hands, shirt. Like, I'm a child. Okay, there. <sighs> That's why I love double-sided tape. There's a little less risk. <laughs> Oops, okay. Come on, you. There. Perfect. Now we have this pocket right here okay so I paused after I showed you the side pocket because I finished pulling all all of the other sheets it's a lot of work it takes time that's the boring part right so after I said ta-da I paused and so I left this this I made another double side um, I don't know if you can see that it's hard because it's all the same color um, yeah so side you know double side pocket here I left more space here I made a nice little um, this is going to be nice this will be glued down to this and it's just a, a nice little top pocket but yeah or I might leave it as a page like this with a pocket. I'm not sure yet, but for now I will put these together because my idea was to put this like that and have a pocket here and a pocket on top. So we'll see. I, I think I might leave it like that. It's fun and interesting. Um, what else? What else? What did I do? Page, page. This is just a half page. I decided it'd be nice that maybe I'll cover it with fabric. And I feel it would look really, really nice. What do you think? Imagine it has fabric and, I don't know, flowers or something. Or, I don't know, but I just like the idea. And it's pretty much in the middle of the um, the book. And I found that it, it felt like almost the middle of the signatures. You know what I mean? I really like it. So I did that, I did more pages. I left more pages for journaling in this one. So two side 
half pockets there. Um, uh, and a double corner one. So two like that. What did I do? What did I do? Yep. Oh, yes. This one is like also just a tiny bit like a middle, the, the, the half little page I just showed you. But this one is actually a, a pocket like that. You know, you try and change it up. It's not easy because the pages are attached, right? So this is also another um, side pocket just for the last page, if you will. And I left this page just like I left, you know, at the beginning where we're going to do some art journaling. And just before I let you go, see, oh, I, uh, the, the, the book had about, I would say, 600 pages and... We take almost all of them out, really, when you, you know, think about it. And um, just a side note, because as I was going, after I paused the video, um, I was realizing, you know, when I was gluing two pages together because my paper is, is thin, what I've done after that is instead of gluing the next two pages together before I rip seven pages and do a pocket or so, or whatever, um, I decided that between the pages that I do glue together, I would also rip five, six pages, glue them, move, rip pages, then decide if I made a pocket or whatnot. So even between the pages that are glued together for thickness, I also ripped in the middle because I realized the way things were going, I never would have finished that um you know tearing pages from that journal never ever ever it was not going to happen it was taking too long and i realized that it was getting too thick now i know it seems like this is not a lot of pages left and you're you're kind of right but you have to remember we will be decorating this adding layers of paper and as you can see my other book that i just showed you at the beginning is quite thick and it was pretty much the same you know the same amount of pages that were left so do not worry if it looks like you've ripped three quarters of the book you have if not more look look what's left and look what came out so yeah huge difference okay but this I am keeping and what I've also done while I was I paused I didn't decorate them but I sold two pages together uh, just for thickness again and this will not necessarily go in this this is more for when I make journals like a, a type tab binded journals where you can add any size of paper as long as there's enough height to put one uh, through two or three tabs right so that's what I made with it just real quick because then I'll decorate this I made a nice little envelope again with two pages for the thickness and then we'll decorate that's going to be a lot of fun and i think this is called a floating pocket i think just simply because it's not glued i think i don't know i don't know all the terms um but it's a pocket and i'm thinking i will glue it because sometimes let's say you have a journal that's already done and i will leave you on that i'm just trying to explain to you something real quick so let's say you have this is a regular journal you just made and you want to add a pocket um you, technically you would glue the pocket because you can't really put that book that journal that's already binded let's say uh that you 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 did the binding already um and you're decorating your journal right so you can't just pass the whole journal and if you didn't think of sewing a pocket before you uh, stitched in your signature let's say then you're stuck just gluing but if you make pockets like these where they're stitching around and you glue that then it looks like it's stitched inside your journal so then it makes and also it makes a double pocket if you want because i'll do a a notch here to you know show that this is a pocket so then you have the pocket itself right like so but if you want to put something in the back you'll be able to because you have this and you have that so making pockets like that um, just loose is always useful you decorate them you put them aside and then when you have a journal 
and you didn't think of you know sewing pockets in the pages before you sewed your signature it doesn't matter or if it's a book like this this one is is already in I'm not you know so how am I going to sew a pocket in well then I can just glue it like that and it looks like it was sewn right in the journal so that's it for me today um, on this part so this we will call part one and part two will be you know starting the the process of of um of changing this from you know a journal with very little <laughs> a book with very little pages left to an altered book journal and we'll decorate and we'll probably take another year to make this one um because it's not something i will do every week i do a page and then in the, in the next week i do a journal and and so on and uh, of course now we have a lot of pages keep them uh, coffee stain some decorate them just keep them handy there's all kinds of things you can do with that so th this is very precious paper and as you can see I've already started playing with my uh, ripped pages so I hope you have learned something I hope I helped you understand how an altered book journal is actually uh, made you know when the the ripping part uh, the ri ripping pages uh, process part I hope my instructions were clear enough I know it's a little hard to see because it's beige but I, I still hope you you got a good idea of how to do this and um, yeah we'll see each other next time so from here I want to I want to give you a great big hug from here Nova Scotia Canada I hope you're all happy healthy and safe and as usual I say Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>